Welcome back to Expeditions and Mud Runner game where I fear an apology is in order. A sorry from me, Mr. Silly P. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to exactly where I left off at the end of the last episode. Where am I? What's happening? If you didn't catch it, it makes sense to watch that and then watch this, but that's fine. We unlocked Dormant Volcano. The last episode, we were traveling to Dormant Vol Volcano, so getting there, getting onto the map. We come into the map here. We had a couple of jobs we had to do. We worked our way across the terrain, across this crossing point here. I rather stupidly, rather than taking a route up that way or going around the side and gradual climb, I thought, let's go up here. This would be really cool. Uh, and it was. It's a shortcut. But blimey, was it a game getting up here? And I realised I was running very short on time. So what we've got to do now, we've got to take a hand-drawn map and we've got to take it out to here. Now what I will say is, looking at the map's one thing, because we haven't unlocked that and we haven't gone over there with a the drone, but looking up behind me, that's the direction we've got to go. It looks like we've got island most of the way out to there and then probably a crossing point. So what we're going to do, I think I'm going to run out of fuel before we can get there. I'm hoping the next point we go to is the last point on um, on this mission, this task. Because if it's not, um, we've got another one to go. I don't think we'll have the fuel to carry on unless we find another airdrop. Which if we do, that would be absolutely fantastic. But we'll see. So in the rest of this episode, what I'm hoping to do is get this job complete and show you something else. Again, at the time of recording this, it's like time travel. Um, I don't know whether or not I've achieved it at this point. I don't know whether I've got there. You, of course, do, because if I have achieved what I'm aiming for, you'll have always seen the thumbnail. You'll know that I achieved what I was trying to do and managed to show you and explain something very cool. And I know I'm being cryptic at the moment, but like I said, you've always seen the thumbnail. Um, I haven't made the thumbnail yet. I haven't even taken a picture for the thumbnail yet. So I'm just speculating ahead as to what might be the case but we will find out. So I'm going to head in this direction. That's where, I want to, that's where we want to be going. We'll get out there and uh, we'll check it out and see what's what. Hopefully we can get to it. Um, let's get the lights on. If it starts to get too dark, then we... Oh, airdrop. Please let there be fuel. Please. Please, please, please. Let's get some fuel. That will be out to fuel soon. And then we might be okay. There's, I found more airdrops on this map than I have on some of the others. Already, it's quite a, I say quite a small map. So far, what we've unlocked is quite small. Uh, let's do that. Trade. Yes. Fuel. Oh, what did I just take? Oh, more anchors. Do I want more anchors? I suppose we can always leave some. That. That. And then that and that. We are topped off. Four litres left in the cache. Uh, yeah, it looks like we might be right that direction. Like I say, we'll we'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Again, what's the worst that can happen? We get stuck. I'm, this one said it required a metal detector, which is what I'm concerned about, because I'm thinking there's going to be more to it after we get to this next location, because I haven't used my metal detector yet. It hasn't asked me to use it for anything, so I'm assuming... You know what they say about assuming things? That's also, again, assuming I'm even going the right direction. I, I think I am. Oh, there's a little bit of a crater there. Okay. Tree. I probably should have used some of my spare parts and replenished them because I did take a, a few batterings in the previous episode. There you go, the little markers come into view now. I'm not even sure there's a crossing point. Looks like there is. That looks like that requires spare parts. Right, stop there. Handbrake, engine off, drone up. No, that's winch, don't want the winch. We want drone. So where's it looking shallow? So from here I reckon. So from here, across this bit here, and then I'm assuming that's going to require us to either build a bridge from there to there and then it'll be a shallow bit the other side I think. 
Why do it look like I could probably drive around it? It says it's a Ford, unless it removes those two big rocks to allow us to just drive over. It doesn't, that doesn't look too bad. We have got our... Um... Oh, um, we have got, of course... It's all green. What's it wants to do there? go the whole way across but I can't remember any spare, how many spare parts we're carrying but let's see what this is wanting us to do handbrake deliver supplies oh yeah we've got plenty let's hold to deliver all oh that's a bridge I wonder why I can say that's, that looks looks wholly drivable to me oh, at least we've got an excuse to go over a bridge I suppose he says Probably missing completely. Unless at different times it's a higher tide or something, it seems a bit peculiar. Really? Fingers crossed for more airdrops, that's what I say. Guess before I head too far in potentially the wrong direction, we'll stick the drone up. Wouldn't hurt. Uh, let's do that. And that. 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 Where are we heading? It's actually not too far, is it? Follow that track that way. Swing around the corner and up the hill, I guess. I mean, of course, it's never going to be that straightforward, is it? What have we got there? Is that a big old crater? No, it doesn't look too bad. Dried up riverbed-esque. Ah, it would be golden. Look at that. Although, was there another marker showing? Is it just one or were there two? Oh, is it heading? Because I was turning around, was it back towards where I am now? So, uh, yeah, follow that round up to there. What do I guess? Straight up there. All right, let's go. Let's drive this way. I think I went too far off to the left. I need to go that way. Go this way. This is this well enough to do some metal detection, I don't know. Whoa. Avoid that bit. No, we are gonna go that way, aren't we? I was hoping we could skirt around oh you know what I'm like. I'm a glutton for punishment. There's trees, where there's trees, there's winch points. Why is it always a turn? The one obstacle you don't want to go near, doesn't matter what you do, it, it turns you directly towards it every single time. Not that one. No, 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 no!
tree root. I think I'm getting a little bit too um, adventurous, probably. I'm, I'm picking routes that are. I'm thinking, oh, that looks really cool, let's try it. And I should be probably being a little bit more. Uh, playing it safe, I think. Successful scan. That's what we need. And we're not done. Find the lost group's truck. Where are we? Oh, man. We're going to end up going around the entire map at this rate, aren't we? Where's the map edge? Oh, no. Go. Oh, blimey. This goes way off. Okay. Oh, man. They weren't kidding with this. This is a difficult one. Um, straight along there. Up over the top, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and that's the thing as well. Trying to get a mission, a job done in one video is becoming harder. Uh, actually, let's do that and skip. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's becoming a lot harder to do. Um, was there a point up at the top there? I thought I saw some yellow markers. Might be for another job. So, do I go that way or that way? If I find oh these rocks, if I find another um, airdrop with spare parts, I'm going to um, do some repairs on the vehicle, I think, and then replenish my spare parts. Well, at the moment, every mistake I can make, I am making. I don't want to take on a new task. If that's all the same to you, uh, maybe I'll have to go along the top a little bit. Let's go. So maybe just taking a little bit more. I'm going to end up going at the exact point. I could have gone if I'd gone the other way, to the left. And the trouble is, as I'm making mistakes, I'm going a bit full in the china shop. I'm getting a little bit... I'm getting frustrated, and because I'm getting frustrated, I'm then forcing other errors. I've got to be more careful. I've got to be more careful. Right, let's have a look. I think we need to stick the drone up. Let's have a look, see what we can see. So there's that little turn and draw down to there, but that takes us to the wrong side. We need to be going out over this way. So if we follow that round there, and down there, that's where we want to be heading, I think. Down that. That looks like fun. Then we're going to need a crossing point down the bottom, I think. Which looks to be... Oh, this is not good. Are these... No, they're not waterfalls, are they? What are they? There, maybe? God, this is a naughty one, this, isn't it? Got any shallow bits? It's hard to tell. That's where we've got to get to. So, I mean, either that. Would I have been better heading off down to the beach? If that's a crossing point, that might have been, mind you, that looks like that's going to continue around, doesn't it? That sort of stepped look to the ground. So maybe crossing there wouldn't have been particularly helpful. 
<sighs> no, even there, even if that is a crossing point, how do I get up the other side? This is horrible. <laughs> this is a horrible one. Mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking maybe go down that draw and whether I'm better off going back down to the water's edge. Or should I stick the drone out that way? Oh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna send I'm gonna do a little bit more drone searching and I'll get back to you. So I'll make a decision then. I did do some scanning and I did change my route. So we are currently here. If I zoom out. Last time I saw you, we were over here. I was trying to decide what route I was going to take and I had a look down to there, wasn't sure. So what I did was use the drone, scanned out to here and it became clear there was a ford there and that this, and again, it just goes to show because that wasn't kind of unlocked, you couldn't see it. I just assumed these sort of this three tiered terracing would continue around, but it didn't. So went down to there, crossed over there, turned up here, there was a bit of a boulder crawl up to there and I found another airdrop and we're not far away from our target area and at the airdrop more fuel we need that so we're going to go out to there no that I keep doing the wrong way around to that one there we go let's top that off perfect um spare parts I did I did upgrade things so I'm going to top up my spare parts Perfect. I'm thinking actually what I might do as well, because the same, um, the anchors, you get multiples. Uh, I think the anchors you get five and the jack screws, it twos or threes. So every time I've used one, I thought I've used one, but I haven't. I'm, I've used one of two. I th anyway, so I don't know if to just put one of those sets back. Not that I necessarily need another slot for anything, but I will. You never know, do you? Can I exchange it? Oh no, it will only let me exchange, not send it back. Oh, okay, no problem. So, let's head to our destination. Like I said, I've got a funny feeling this is not going to be the final bit, but... Unless the metal detector is to find the vehicle, potentially, because it's metal. Oh, see up here for thinking. down there for a bit of the old dancing. I forgot I had an autonomous winch on this. So when it rolled over that first time, I was like, oh, what was that the last episode? Last episode. So that's it, I'm done. Good shout. I don't have it from a lot of the vehicles, but for this one. It is taking a few hits here and there, but give it its due. It is keeping on going. I haven't particularly got fantastic tyres on it or race suspension or anything... I say good, I mean that's the wrong way of putting it. Oh, is that the vehicle there? That can't be it already, surely. Oh, it's another one of these. Excav... What? <laughs> Evacuate the truck. <laughs> Why I read that as excavate, I have no idea. Every, well, the letters, the letters were there, just in a different order. Uh, evacuate it to where though? Where have I got evacuated to? There? Why there? Uh, out from here, up there, round the top, down. <laughs> Easy peasy. No worries, mate. Let's see how that goes, shall we? Uh, yeah, we should be alright. What could possibly go wrong? So, uh, no, don't want that. We want that. We want that. To the rear, thank you very much. Do that. Turn on the engine winch, winch to truck. The 
fingers crossed. I'm not sure at the moment what the metal detector was for. Like I say, unless I'm going to have another part to this, which. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what's going to happen as we move further and further forward. We're going to have longer tasks, more com sort of parts to each of the tasks. This is not on the pole. Guess what I should be doing is doing that and that. Excellent stuff. Through the gap. Okay, what's going to go wrong? This is going too well. Just jinx myself, as I often do, but this doesn't seem alright. Unless that's the first point, I've got to take it further, I don't know. But this is not another boulder crawl. Um. Ooh. Oh, there you go. There's a gap there. We can go down that. That looks like a bit of a steep drop off. Oh, actually, no, we can go around there. That's nice. Let's move around there. Down there. Cool. We are done, 35,800, we'll take that. Recognise at least five unknown points on the map. I thought we did a few, didn't we? We did a couple of forts, we did... Well, do airdrops count? I don't suppose they do, do they? Right. Let's get our reward, head to headquarters. So, this is the bit I've been um, alluding to from the end of the last episode to now. Now... Uh, I mean, I, 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 if this is the case, I don't know how I missed it. I really don't know how I missed it. Let's go to Arizona. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. How did that just... How did I miss that? I would imagine I've had comments left on multiple videos now because I've been saying about how... I assume you've got to do a lot more on Carpathians before you can unlock Arizona. That when you finish the, the missions on Little Colorado, um, the only thing that was showing was something on Carpathians. And um, I got a couple of people messaged me. And so you are aware that Arizona is unlocked. There's one unlocked in Arizona. And I thought, there isn't one unlocked in Arizona. I've been down. I don't remember that being highlighted at all. I missed it. I completely missed it. Apologies for that. So for the people that did message me, thank you for letting me know. Um, so we've been doing stuff on Carpathians. I've done 12 out of 37. We've done a few. We've opened up all four maps. I've got another one to do on Dormant Volcano if I want to do it on there. Um, 
so I'm a spice. suppose now's a good time as any. We've done our first four rounds of Dormant Volcano. So my plan all along <laughs> was to unlock the maps on Carpathians first, and then I'd go on to Arizona. So what we're going to do, we have a look on Arizona. Our first foray onto Arizona. Conquest of the Frontier. We need a scout vehicle, ravines. It's easy, that's good. We like easy to start us off with. Uh, no team requirements. I'm going to go with my Kotko. Now, uh, this should go out... Um, what's the date today? Uh, fourth? I think. Game release is on the fifth. A lot of people that got early access, the um, year... Uh, Season pass or year one of the edition, I can't remember what it's called now, or the Supreme Edition, and you've got 96 hours early access, which is four days. A lot of people that pre ordered and got the Kotko Canyon haven't got access to it. So the assumption at the moment is that on the day of release, the official day of release, the 5th, you will have access to it. Um, that's again, that's just from people that have messaged me to say, Look, this is the situation, I haven't got it. Do I know why I haven't got it? I said, I honestly, I don't know why people haven't got it yet. That is my kind of extrapolation. And also, a lot of people messaged me saying, Um, they got early access, um, they got the, the supreme edition, um, and there's nothing in the mod hub. Now, I did say when I talked about the mod hub in my early videos, I said at the time of recording, which was pre embargo lift and pre release that there were five objects in the mod hub, and I, sh I think I showed them on the video, or a couple of videos, and I did say, at the time of release, or when people get access, I didn't know what would be in the mod hub. I said there could be more stuff, there might not be anything, and a couple of times I went to do stuff, and the mod hub wasn't even there, it wasn't showing, so I said, at the time of release, I don't know what's going to be there. So I, I didn't say there would be mods in there, I said the mod hub is there, and hopefully there will be and it's good that we know there is going to be a mod tub because the big question before the game was releasing people were saying will there be mods like snowrunner will we get the answer is yes there is a mod hub uh, but yeah i'm assuming more mods mods will appear um so we need two of them that's a requirement i say two of those jack screw and that uh i'm fine for all of my fuel as far as i can tell Yep, but I am, as I do a lot, I'm going to go for a hydrologist, and I'm going to go for an operator. Just because I can. So, Arizona, people. Arizona is unlocked. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, yeah. I kind of got into the zone of what I was doing. But like I said, I mean, that, that could have been my plan all along. You know, I'd gone on to Carpathians. I've unlocked the four maps on there. There's still loads more to do, but now we're on to Arizona. We'll see what this holds and what we're going to do. So visit the exit from the base. Done it again. There we go. Visit the viewpoint. That's a good piece of advice. Let's check it out with binoculars, shall we? Blimey, look at this. So I suppose the thing is going to be, curious, um, that if that if that has been unlocked right from the start, I have to go back to one of my early videos when I talk about it. How did I miss it? 
Um, there's going to be, if you finish doing your training missions on Little Colorado and you did Arizona rather than Carpathians first, there's going to be that gradual, again, sort of linear build-up, introducing you to the nuances of the game, um, quicker, easier missions that don't pay as much to get you into the flow of what you're doing. Then they'll gradually work up, like I'm finding on Carpathians now, when you're on the hard and very hard missions that are paying 25, 30 grand. Um, but they are very difficult. They do take a long time. You can come unstuck quite easily. Whereas I'm assuming this is going to be, again, if you started on here first rather than Carpathians, you're going to have a build-up on here, I assume. So that's going to be the thing about checking it out. We will find out. This totem points to the safe path, so that's our way out. That's what we're doing. We're looking for a way down from our base area. Find a way up. Is that the other side, is it? turning there cool blimey it's bumpy Just bump straight down off that middle bit, it's all right. Difficult climb, find an equipment box right over there. Uh, don't really need to do tire pressures for life. Maybe. Oh. Come on. Maybe I'm stuck. Oh, that was so close. There we go. Ah, oh, I thought it was there. Thank you. 
Oh, a dinosaur femur. It's valuable to the museum. Uh, yeah, so we've got people that are going to buy stuff, traders, museum. I haven't got to any stuff like that yet. Deliver it. Not all the way back to the base camp, surely. Yep. So the route we've just taken, we just follow that all the way back. I wonder if we can... I'm just looking at the ground there from where we are. I wonder if we can go around the end. Maybe that might be, that should, that'd be a quicker route. Let's have a look. Let's see the drone up. We can go out around here. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Don't like that. No, nope, it's not like that either. Crikey. Uh, no, we'd be better off just going back the way we'd just come. Right, we'll do that. Oh, okay, I might have sunk a little bit. <laughs> might have sunk in the mud while we were talking. Right, I'll just head back the way we came. We'll get this first one done. <laughs> On the newly unlocked Arizona. Back up, nearly there. First mission done. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Do I head back to headquarters? I will head back quarters, head to, to headquarters in a moment to see what other missions are available. I'm going to press continue for a moment. Um, because I think I'll probably need a thumbnail. That's probably not a bad idea. I'm going to do that. Oh, look at this. Whoa, didn't see that. Wowzers. That is terrific. So, back at the headquarters menu then. Arizona. What's next? Squatters rights. We would like you to visit one of the remarkable places in this region. Unfortunately, it's remarkable not for its beauty, but on the contrary. It is it is a crashed, rusty plane that spoils local views and may further scare off tourists. We estimate the cost of its disposal, so it needs to be carefully examined. I think that sounds really cool. Something to look for and have a, you know, but that's brilliant. What are the rewards on this? Fine tune gearbox, opens up the West Outpost. That's pretty cool. But that will probably, probably be the next episode. Um, Again, I'm not sure of time whether this will be a shorter or another longer episode, um, but <laughs> we are on to Arizona as well now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.